game players thanks for tuning in I'm Marcus we're gonna be doing I'm moving my NES collection for those of you who don't know what NES is that's Nintendo Entertainment System here's some games back here now a lot of these um, seems like I went through quite a few of these recently on the unlicensed games video so if you haven't seen that check that out but I'll just flip through them um, and then uh, there's going to be behind here, there's more games, and there's some over on this side too. So, it's not a huge NES collection. Um, I believe it's over 100. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. It's not a massive collection. But it is going to be one video. So let's go ahead and dig in. Alright, let's go ahead and get started with Big Nose. Oh, he's upside down. Big Nose, the caveman. I do remember one of my friends had this growing up, which is pretty funny. Uh, here is Spiritual Warfare. And Spiritual Warfare does not joke around. Actually, this is a pretty cool game. It's a pretty awesome game. Ultimate Stuntman. Right? Yeah, look at that dude. That cover is insane as well. B-52. Death Race. Chiller. Shockwave. Those are the three games all made by whatever this company is. I'm not really sure. I can't remember. Maybe it says on Chiller. AGCI. I think AGCI made these three games. Uh, here's Pyramid and Double Strike. You got the Quattro Sports. Four awesome sports games in one. That's how they did it back then. Micro Machines. This is a good game. This is a damn good game. I love the gold carts, by the way. The quality is not quite what a Zelda gold cart is, but they're pretty cool. Here's the Adventures of Dizzy. The Happy Little Egg. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what he is. Uh, Trolls on the Adventure Island. Exodus. That looks really intense. Journey to the Promised Land. That looks like a super blurry label. You would think it's some kind of repro, but it's not. Here's Baby Boomer. Little baby on there. Dudes with Attitude. That's a pretty awesome cover. Bible Buffet. Nothing like going to a buffet and eating a ton of Bibles. I don't know what's going on there. It's crazy. It's insane. Bible Adventures. This one looks scary as shit. Castle of Deceit. I really dig this one. This one just looks freaky. Joshua. Doesn't look so freaky, but looks intense. A Silent Assault. Impossible Mission 2. Or is it Mission Impossible 2? You be the judge. This is Firehawk. And then this is the Adventure Quattro. Which is Boomerang Kid, Sniper Robin Hood, Linus Spacehead, and Adventure... No, Treasure, Treasure Island Dizzy. Oh my god. Four classics, all in one. Venice Beach Volleyball, with some provocative females on there. I don't know what they're doing like that. Cameraman could have gotten in trouble. F-15. You got your Flintstone Surprise at Dinosaur Peak. Now, this is a repro, so don't get all excited. Unfortunately, I don't really care. This is 450 and one. This is 450 and one, you guys. All right, look at this thing. It's nuts. It's insane looking. I like how RoboCop and Ninja Turtles are on the cover, though. Little Samson, obviously another repro. It's a red cart. Pretty classic, though. This is Zombie Nation, another repro. And if I'm not mistaken, Retro Cynical, you got this game, don't you, man? I think you do. I think you do, and I think you've got the same color cart, maybe. I'm not sure, though. Here's Final Fantasy VII. That's right, the English edition. So you can check this out. This is pretty awesome right here. And then now we're kind of going to the real games. To the Earth. Never played that. I have no idea if that's any good. Dino Wars with an awesome label. And, of course, Tetris II. The Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid, that's right. That's actually a pretty cool game. Uh, this is Thrilla's Safari. This is the guy from TNC Surf Designs. Hogan's Alley. You gotta play it with the light gun. That was one of the earliest games I ever played on the Nintendo, right there. Bart vs. the Space Mutants. This is a good one. Pretty tough. 
Uh, this is Snoopy something. Silly Sports Spectacular. Who doesn't love peanuts? This is a game that's uh, really obscure. Not a lot of people have heard about it. It's Punch Out. Of course you've heard of that, right? That's the one without Mike Tyson, you guys. Uh, the Karate Kid. Wax on, wax off. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, dude? I think you do. This is Adventure Island. An amazing game. An amazing game. However, uh, I don't know. I like the arcade game the best, but it's a pretty good one. I do remember playing this at a friend's house one time. And the part, the second level, I think, when you get there and you're collecting eggplants and it's like the caves. I don't know why it freaked me out. Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario's pill popping. He's pill popping. Kid Icarus, a classic. A freaking classic. Kirby's Adventure. My god, this is a badass game. Love that shit. That little vacuum cleaning dude can suck. Alright, the Flintstones. Rescue of freaking Dino and Hoppy. So, definitely not as rare as the other one. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. God, when this came out, I played this so much. It was insane. I played this game so much. It was amazing. The opening level with the fire. Kidding me? Kung Fu. This is the first game I ever played on a big screen TV, one of those projection big screen TVs. And we were just like, oh my god, look how large these guys are. We loved it. It was a great game. It wasn't my big screen TV, it was my friends. Uh, Mad Max. Freaking awesome. Awesome. Star Tropics. Three Stooges. I rented that one weekend. My friend and I played the crap out of that. Bases Loaded 3. The Adventures of Bio Belly! How'd I do? That's a pretty good game. Oh my god, Batman Returns! This game is on every freaking system. Yo Noid! You know, I won a huge Noid doll once playing uh, that game where you hit the hammer and it throws like a frog into a bucket. You guys know what I'm talking about? And I just kept trading up until I got this huge Noid character that was filled with beans. And then like... Maybe a week, two weeks went by, and I was like wrestling, you know, with him like a uh, my buddy. Remember those weird, not my buddy, the wrestling buddies. Where you do like drop kicks and elbows and stuff. Anyway, the Yo Noid just exploded in beans everywhere. Uh, here's Narc. What an incredible game. What an incredible game Narc is. Just for the violence and drug dealers and oh my god. And the arcade game's even better. It's a great game. Uh, Dino Riki. The Adventures of Dino Riki Commando. I don't think this is uh, supposed to be like the Arnold Schwarzenegger game, but it's by Capcom. And then of course, the number one arcade smash hit, Double Dragon, Cabal. Now we played this uh, on, on the channel, except we played the arcade game with the trackball, which is an awesome shooter. Love that game. And then this is just Tecmo Super Bowl. Are you freaking kidding me? That's one of the best football games ever made. No denying it. Yoshi's Cookie. He's just throwing up a cookie right in front of you right there. Actually, he might be sucking it in. I don't know. Ghostbusters. Who are you going to call Ghostbusters? That's right, dude. You guys know what's up. And then Batman the Video Game. I like how it actually says the video game. In case it was like a piece of bread and I put it in the toaster, or maybe it was a VHS tape and I put it in my V... I mean, it's a fucking video game, right? They should have just said Nintendo on it. Monopoly? Eh, I don't know. And then Gilligan's Island. I'm realizing it now, this box that I'm putting this shit in is gonna be really heavy. I'm gonna have to be very careful. Snake, Rattle, and Roll. What a play on words. TMNT, The Manhattan Project. I love the artwork on this. This is pretty awesome. This is very, very old school comic art right here. I dig it. RBI Baseball by Tengen. And then of course, of course, how could you forget Cybernoid, the fighting machine. No joke, Gauntlet. I remember playing this uh, at my friend's house. This was pretty crazy. Swords and Serpents. Look at that freaking cover. It's like, that's a giant snake. We are about to get consumed. And then Werewolf, the last warrior. All right, that was the front row. Let's dig into the back. You got your 10-yard fight, which is one of the old-school classic games. You can tell by the crazy 8-bit graphics they put right on the label, just to let you know what you're going to be working with. Uh, unlike California games, for example, 
where the graphics look nothing like this. Although it's a fun game. Arch Rivals, pretty fun game. Fester's Quest, this was one I remember renting and struggling with quite a bit. Kept wanting to get further and further and just kept dying. So, uh, this is Al Unser Jr. Turbo Racing, and then Final Fantasy, of course. NFL, NFL what? Just NFL, they didn't even have anything else. It was just NFL. Little Nemo, the Dream Master. Look at that little kid. He's tripping balls. Ninja Gaiden 2. Hell yeah, dude. Tiger Heli. Talking about hell. Hell yeah, Tiger Heli. Double Dragon 2, The Revenge. I had this when I was a kid. This is one of the few games I had, and I uh, played the crap out of it even when I was bored. I beat this game on, I think it's called Master. Could be wrong but it is freaking tough as shit when you get down to it. And uh, yeah, I used to get, be able to get where I could beat this over and over if I wanted. It's a super tough game. The Battle of Olympus. Look at that epic label. <laughs> That's crazy. And then, how about this one? Well, it's Donkey Kong 3. Horrible condition. Horrible condition label. Soccer. Jordan versus Bird. One of the other few games I had when I was a, when I was a kid was Platoon. And uh, this game is pretty tough. It's hard to know where you're going. It's got uh, booby traps everywhere. However, for some reason, I like the music. Maybe it's just because I was a kid and it's very nostalgic hearing the tunes from this game. Um, yeah, anyway, this is a good movie. If you haven't seen the movie, I think it's got Willem Dafoe and Charlie Sheen. Is it Charlie Sheen? I think it is. Um, anyway, it's pretty awesome. The tunes are good. It's got really big sprites. It's just pretty tough. It's kind of a tough game, but I, I liked it. Duck Hunt, the cartridge. And then here's Anticipation. Hell yeah. And then this is N NES Action Play Football. Renegade, I love this, this cover. This is one of the best labels ever. Brutal street fighting going on. Jack Nicholas Golf. He's ready to teach you how to become a pro. And then something pool, championship pool. So if you like billiards, check that out. Jeopardy. Codename Viper. Don't mix me up with Codename Copperhead. Airwolf, based on the TV hit series. I like how it says that underneath there. Just in case you were thinking about maybe not getting it, you know. One of my favorite games ever. I love the music in this game. I love the story. Uh, which is not really much of a story. I just love the graphics, I love the music, I love the gameplay. This game, to me, was amazing. Because it was kind of like, it reminded me of Ghosts and Goblins, except I could beat this. So, Operation Wolf. Rescue, the Embassy Mission. I remember struggling with this one quite a bit when I was a kid. Rented that for a weekend. Mission Impossible. Note that it's not an impossible mission. Okay, it's Mission Impossible. WWF WrestleMania. I do love me this game right here. This is my best game. It's my best game. Zexel. 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 I can't remember if we played that on the channel or not. I don't know. I think I mixed it up with Zardian or Yardian. Iron Sword with Fabio, Wizards and Warriors 2. Again, I loved the first one. I love the second one. This was another game I really enjoyed. This is the Trifecta of Terror. Super Mario, Track Meet, and Duck Hunt all in one. Track and Field 2. Legacy of the Wizard. Excite Bike. Holy crap. I had a friend that had this game. And uh, oh my god, we played the crap out of that one. Pinball. Pinball. Mario. Some people really like this game. I don't like it. It's called City Connection. It's just something I'm, I don't get into. I don't like the idea of like a car hopping around. I, I just, I don't know why. I love games. I love a lot of games. That just, that premise of a car hopping around just bothers me for some reason. Uh, Bandai Golf. Love the neon green and pink on that. Very 80s. Challenge at Pebble Beach. Hell yeah, RC Pro-Am now. Whoa! Oh my god! Hell yeah, RC Pro-Am now. Whoa! Oh, it's okay. <laughs> now, that's why they built these strong, you guys. They built these tough to take a licking. Um, RC Pro-Am. Rented this one weekend when I was about eight. 
okay? And I could not get the hang of the controls. I was a little dumbass, couldn't figure it out. I thought there was supposed to be some kind of steering wheel controller that Nintendo made for this. Yeah, no. Now eventually I got really good at this game, and I really enjoy it now. But when I was a kid, I, w I convinced myself there must be some steering wheel attachment. And uh, I was missing out and wasn't playing the game correctly. I remember my mom arguing with me, sort of, saying, that's the game! And I'm like, no, there's gotta be some controller attachment for this! This isn't right! This can't be the way the game is! But, anyway, it's a really fun game. Karate Champ by Data East. Mylon's Secret Castle. That's a classic. Kings of the Beach. Which is weird, I actually remember playing that one quite a bit for some reason. Go! Captain Skyhawk. I don't know, I see this and it just makes me laugh. Win, lose, or draw! This is the one, you guys, right here. Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. Still got the manual in the back here. And, uh, man. That was where it started. That's where it started. With me, anyway. That was the first game. First game I ever played on Nintendo. Right there. It came with it. What the hell am I supposed to do? Top Gun. Hell yes, I can land the fucking thing on the aircraft carrier. Like, big freaking deal. I mean, really, you guys? Really? Top Gun. The dog fighting in this game is actually really fun. I enjoy it. It's fun. It's a, it's a great game. I don't know. Land it. You just land it. That's all. Star Voyager. The stars are with you, sir. Here's Racket Attack. This is a great game about a horrible beating that occurred in 1972 on a tennis court. Super Spike V-Ball. These dudes look intense. Are they roided up or is it just me? I think that they're ready to pop black bass. Love these fishing games. Similarly to the NFL game, this is the MLB game. So, Major League Baseball, that's it. There's nothing else going on. You should know. <laughs> they didn't have, you know, MLB 87 or whatever. They just called it MLB. Pinbot. What a freaking awesome game. What an awesome pinball machine. If you're unfamiliar with this, it's awesome. And then Bride of Pinbot is also amazing. I'd say a little better even. This is Solar Jetman. Unfortunately, the label's kind of popping off there. You guys got any tips for that? Anybody got any tips? Just glue it down? What do you do? I don't know. Skate or Die. You know, I like this game, but God, dude, the half pipe? Brutal. When I was a kid, even now, I don't think I can really do that very well. Rocket Ranger. Look at that sci-fi. It looks like a choose-your-own-adventure novel, doesn't it? It's like they try and suck you in, and it's just this, then you die within page 10 chose the wrong adventure. Thunder... Thundercade. Thundercade? Yeah, it's all scratched up and written all over. It says... Looks like it says Brat Nut on it, but it doesn't say that. Anyway, pretty amazing artwork. It's too bad it's all destroyed. This is Sky Shark, which is pretty awesome. And then we've got Vegas Dream, which is basically the way that every Vegas trip ends. You think it was a dream, it was a horrible nightmare! Whoa, 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 we just popped it out of its case. Metal Gear? Hell yeah, with Solid Snake. This is a pretty awesome game. Is it Solid Snake in this game? I can't remember. But I do remember the gameplay. It's pretty tough. It's fun, though. Of course, The Adventures of Link in the Gold Cart. This is a classic game. Um, it's a side-scroller. A little different. A little different gameplay. It's still fun, though. The caves and everything. When you are side-scrolling, those caves... Remind me of the caves in Rambo, if you ever played that. Uh, Roger Clemens, uh, MVP Baseball. So, uh, I don't know why. This is another copy. For some reason, I think it's a variation. I think the label's different colors or something. So, that's why I have it. Miss Pac-Man from Tengen, which is actually a pretty good version. Captain Comic. This is one of the unlicensed games. However, I've had this one for a while. So, it was not featured in that video. And then Golf. Gotcha, the sport. I remember these guns. I think they were like these paintball guns that you could get that were just basically cheap. But still pretty fun to play with. Marble Madness, what an amazing theme song. And uh, yeah, same friend of mine who had Jordan vs. Bird. He had this. We played this. Then we played some Jordan vs. Bird. But uh, anyway, I really dig this game. I like the arcade game better. 
course, but it's still very cool. It's a very cool game. Here's Amagon with his big muscles. With his big muscles. And then, of course, holy crap, one of the best ever, Super Mario 2. I love this game. It plays, to me, it's floaty. The controls are floaty, you know. It's not as tight as the other games, but I enjoy it. And there's something about it that's very cartoony. And I feel like the graphics just appeal to my sort of, I don't know, cartoon-loving side. So something about it's just really interesting to me. But here's just baseball. Just straight up baseball. And then Willow! Willow! That's a pretty good game. The Legend of Cage with the manual, which by the way, check this manual out. Super glove ball. Gotta have the power glove to play with this. I lack the power glove. I do not have the power glove, so I won't be playing. There's the original Super Mario Brothers just by itself. It's got the manual too, which is kind of nice. Spy Hunter. First played this on my friends like Commodore or something. I can't really remember, but it's really good. It's fun. Tetris, another classic game. I mean, holy shit, talk about a great soundtrack. Here's another great soundtrack, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And this game is brutal, but I love it. It's hard to survive and make it through the game, but it's good. Shadowgate, that, that's, I don't think that's supposed to be blood. It's supposed to be like a tail that like he's red and he's breaking the stone off, but doesn't it look like he just stabbed somebody? That's what I think they want you to think. Uh, this is Evert. Chris Evert and Ivan Lindell, top players tennis. Can't say I'm a big fan of this one. And then Wheel of Fortune. Making good progress on clearing this out. All right, we've got 3D World Runner. Look at that cover. Holy shit. That is freaking awesome. Can you guys see those sunglasses he's sporting? That's the way to do it. Adventures of Lolo. The Adventures of Lolo. The Legend of Zelda in gold. Remember the first time I saw the gold cart? I shot myself. Uh, here's Sector Z. Is that section? Sorry, Section Z. With the manual. It's got the manual back here. It's baby blue glory. Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. Urban Champion. Oh my god, I love the artwork of this. Freaking love it. It's got the manual too. And then, the original Donkey Kong. The original. This is a uh, Game On Expo cartridge that uh, I bought from Gamester81. It's called the Retro Championships 2015. It's 104 of 200. Got it from him at the Retro Gaming Expo in Portland last October. Uh, unlike the Game Hunters, I was not smart enough to get the damn thing signed. I don't know what was wrong with me. Of course I would have gotten that signed, but anyway, it's kind of cool to have that. Here's the Rocketeer. This movie's not bad. It's not too bad. Blades of Steel. This is a freaking awesome game. This is another Wheel of Fortune, except this is the Family Edition with some shitty ass sticker on it. God damn it. Base is loaded too. And God, I'm almost scared to hold this up to the camera. Ghosts and Goblins. And I gotta say, this is a scary-ass, fucked-up game when you're a kid. Just keep dying over and over. Here's Load Runner. Got the manual with it. Bubble Bobble. This is a pretty fun game. That song is super addicting. Days of Thunder. Pretty cool movie, too. This is freaking fighting golf, where you just beat each other up. I have no idea, actually. Lagoonies 2. Pretty classic game. World class track meet, speaking of class, and classic. DuckTales! Hell yeah! Didn't I play this on the channel? I think I beat this one on the channel. Am I wrong? I don't remember. Seems like I did. Kari Warriors. This is an amazing game. Here's a signed copy of Anticipation by no one other than Pat the NES Punk. Yeah, I don't know. I'm keeping this thing so no one ever has to look at it. You know what I mean? Just sitting there. No, I'm kidding. I'm just joking. Mega Man freaking 3. That's a good one to have. Mega Man 4, and unfortunately, kind of has a piece of plastic in there. I'm going to have to check that out sometime. Nothing looks broken on the outside, so I don't know. Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. 
This is the old school one. Freaking Contra. You kidding me? Let's do it. Two player, you and me, right now. Double dribble. John Elway's quarterback. <laughs> Where in time is Carmen San Diego? You know, I used to watch this show, but it was called Where in the World is Carmen San Diego. Dash Galaxy in the Alien Asylum. That looks freaking awesome. Holy crap. Dick Tracy. I did like the movie. I did have a couple of the toys when I was a kid. Donkey Kong Classics. Silent Service. I see this game everywhere. Why do I see this game everywhere? Anyway, Silent Service. Michael Andretti's World GP. Abadox, The Deadly Inner War. Look at the blood on the logo. That's, that's uh, pretty intense. That's an intense cover right there. Deadly Towers. Another freaking intense cover. Check that out. Xevious. I don't know, this isn't 3D, this is just the Avenger. And then these are all uh, Bishop Brother games. So, here's Holy Diver. I still got this sealed from when I got it. Super Mario 2, which I think is the Japanese edition. This is Reggie's Radical Adventures. Still wrapped, I gotta play that. And then Metroid with the save feature, which is pretty awesome. All right, now all we got are the boxed games. So these are all boxed with manuals. Let's check them out. First up is Gyrus. You have to say it like that because it's got two S's. So I love this artwork. Love the classic design. You know, Super Mario 3, uh, yeah. I was probably like nine, maybe 10 when this game came out. Blew my mind. All my friends, we were hooked. I mean, it was like, what do you want to do? You want to play some Super Mario 3? Yeah, let's play Super Mario 3. That's pretty much all we did. 1942, classic game. Another classic game. Uh, this is a repro Splatterhouse one Paku Graffiti. We played that on the channel. It's pretty awesome. Metroid, the classic series. It's not the original series one, but it's not a repro. It's the actual. Cobra Triangle. I do like the artwork of this. It's really unique, very bizarre and just looks cool so pretty awesome game it's ice hockey which is a pretty awesome game as well the adams family definitely liked this movie and yeah here it is the game faxanandu faxanandu sorry faxanadu faxanadu i always have a hard time saying that but it's a pretty cool game and then oh my god it's dropped that bionic commando bionic commando Look at the cover of that, it's freaking, you could look at that for an hour and find something new to look at. Gorgeous. The original Popeye with olive oil. This is a pretty cool game. This game I love, I love me some Karnov. I remember uh, renting that as well. That was, that was an experience. Love that game. TNC Surf Design. I don't know why I had like 40 freaking copies of this game. Not really, but I just keep seeing them everywhere. And every time I'd buy like a few games, this game would be in there. And So anyway, I love this game though. Uh, when I was a kid, I thought it was super awesome. I think everything about this game I thought was super awesome. And it was really hard, but I enjoy it. Dragon Warrior. Hell yeah, that's a good one to have. Another interesting cover. You know what's interesting? You guys see any parallels here? I sure do. You see any parallels? I mean, there's some similar things going on here. Uh, weird snake creature. I know that says cape, but it's red. Both surrounded in blue. Huh. Pretty weird. Pretty weird. Tennis. Nothing like playing some hot and sweaty tennis. Rad Racer. Love this game. Love the graphics. Love the style. Love that it's got rad in the title. Gogo 13. Now we played the arcade game on the channel. If you haven't seen that, check it out. It's a pretty awesome game with awesome music. Mickey's Mouse Capade. Yeah, always gotta like a little bit of Mickey. And then of course, Jaws, which is a great one to end the video on. So there you go, guys. What do you think? That's my NES collection. It's quite a few games. You know, not too many boxed, but a few. It definitely filled this huge box down here. And I have to be very careful moving it. So anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, and uh, of course, stay tuned. There's going to be more of these videos and other videos too. So 
Uh, until next time, keep that shit retro by playing your old Nintendo Entertainment System later on.